Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to do file and folder backups using the mini tool shadow maker free program. So we recently did a video on how to do Windows system image backups and also how to restore them. So the difference is with the Windows system image, it backs up Windows, your programs and all your files into an image and then you can restore it back to that date and time. And then the problem with doing image restores is that they're only as good as the date they were made. So any programs or files that were added after the image was made will be lost once you restore it. So system image backups come in handy for things like disaster recovery, but you should be doing uh, file and folder backups on a regular basis. So there are plenty of tools to do so, but you could try out this mini tool Shadow Maker free if you want to have something that's easy and free to use. All right, so once you download and install it, uh, you could just go to the backup section here and so on the source, this is where you need to click first. And you want to pick folders and files. This is where you do the system image backup. So we'll click on this. All right, so you have options to browse your computer, or you could go right to the user folders. And then there are libraries. You probably don't want to do this because this tends to back up the public folders uh, rather than your personal documents. So if you want to back up your documents, just come up to users. All right, so we're going to do, let's say, documents and pictures. And then of course you could just come here and browse, you know, specific folders that way if you want, but we're just going to do something simple for this demonstration. All right, so we have our folder selected here. All right, so this shows us what is getting backed up, documents and pictures under the users folder. And now we need to choose the destination. So I have this other drive here, this E drive, and it has a backups folder. And these are the system image backups from before that we did with the other video demonstration. So I'm going to put the file backups under this folder. So I'll just browse to it. And OK. So we have our source and our destination. And then we have some options here. So you can change the compression level. You can add a password to your backup if you want to add some security to it. Uh, we have the backup scheme. We could do a full backup for the first one, and then we could do incremental and differential backups after that. So if you only want to back up files that have changed or been added or removed, you could do one of these two. And then if you want to schedule it, you could do this as well. Daily, weekly, monthly, or on a specific event. You just have to come here and turn it on and set your schedule. All right, so we're just going to do a one-time simple backup. So let's call this backup task here. So I always like to name the task because if you add additional jobs when you go to restore it, it makes it a lot easier to make sure you're restoring the correct backup. All right, then we could either back it up now or back it up later. So we'll click on Backup Now and then OK. And this should be pretty quick because there aren't a lot of files there to back up. All right, so that's done. We now have the date and time. So now if we go to that folder, you can see we have these backup files, so it doesn't back them up as individual files. It backs them up into one of their backup files, so keep that in mind. All right, then it takes you to the Manage section when it's done, so you can manage your backups from here. So if you want to back them up again as a full backup or do an incremental or differential backup, you can do that from here. Then you have some options to delete it and verify your backup image just to make sure it's legit. And you have the Browse option here. You could pick your backup. There's the only one we have. And this lets you just view the folders within your backup and the files. And you could choose which ones to restore from here. You could also do the restore option too, which we'll do in a second. You can't mount your file and folder backups. You could do this for system images. And when you do that, it lets you browse the image file. And then you could actually save files from your image rather than restoring the whole image. Then you could edit your schedule and your scheme if you need to do so, and then locate the backup image file. All right, so we could also go to Restore here. And here is our Documents and Pictures backup. We click on Restore. And then Next. It gives us the same interface as we saw from the Manage section here. So we could either restore everything or come in here and choose specific folders to restore. Or specific files too. 
So let's say we want to get rid of everything here. We want to restore this confidential files because we deleted that on accident. Click on next. All right, so input or select a destination path. So if we click on browse, you could browse to the directory where they were originally from, or if you want to put them somewhere else, let's just say we're going to put them on the desktop here. And click on start. All right, so successful. So let's check that out. So here's the confidential files folder with the files within it. So that worked. All right, and let's say we run another backup here. So let's change something in this documents folder. Let's add something new. Let's do text document. Let's put some data in there just so we have some information. All right, let's go over to the manage section here. And now we'll do another backup. Now that we've added that new file. So this time we'll do a differential backup, let's say, which will back up anything that's changed since the last full backup. Okay, so that's done. And then we have an extra file here from that. And if we go back to restore and click on restore, now you can see we have two different dates here, the first one and then the second one. So the more recent one is in the front here. Okay, then we could browse through our list here, go to the documents folder, and we'll scroll down and you can see here is our new text document that we added to that backup. Not sure why it didn't put in alphabetical order. So keep that in mind when you're uh, looking at your backup in case that does that for you as well. All right, so that is your basic overview of the mini tool shadow maker file and folder backup. So once again, go to the backup section, click on source here, do folders and files. Decide if you want to do your user folders or browse to a specific folder or folders from here. And then once you add your folder list, you could pick your destination and then you could start the backup. And then you could come back to the restore section and restore from here, or you could come back to manage and actually do another backup if you want to do a different type. And then you could also restore it from here as well. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Mini Tool Shadow Maker free, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.